Hey everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to convert seconds into hours, minutes and seconds in Java. So let's get started. So first we need to get the seconds as an input from the user. So for that we will be using the scanner class. So it's going to be capital S scanner. Let me name my scanner variable as input equal to new scanner within bracket we need to put capital S system dot in and for using the scanner class we need to import the util package all right so I will just go here it's going to be import javas dot you will be having the util yeah util dot asterisk and just scroll down it's going to be int let me name the seconds as yes equal to input dot next int because we are going to get the input in the form of integer all right so we will be requiring three variables one for hour minute and second so int hour equal to our second our input second which is yes slash 3600 so the reason why i am dividing by 3600 is that one hour has 3600 seconds in it all right that's the basic reason it's like 60 into 60 okay 60 minutes into 60 because one minute has 60 seconds i hope that made sense so basically one hour is equal to 3600 seconds there and next thing is our seconds i will find seconds and then minutes so let me name it as second equal to yes mod 60 okay this is the formula to find the seconds and the next one is going to be our minutes so before finding the minutes we need to do this thing all right our input second yes equal to yes mod 3600 and the next line our int minute equal to yes slash 60 all right so for minute alone it is like this you need to like have this yes equal to yes mod 3600 i will show you later why we need to do this all right so in the next line i'm just going to print it now so it's going to be system dot out dot print yeah so it's going to be in the hours format all right so it's going to be percentage d colon percentage d colon and percentage d and just come outside that it's going to be hour and minute and second i guess this is fine yeah so let me just now save it and if i just now okay i need to also have a system print for like inputting i'm not having anything yeah let me just have it as enter seconds yeah this is fine now i guess yeah so just a semicolon at the end yeah so this is cool let me just now save it i think i need to like change this to format because i am using percentage d over here yeah so instead of print let me go with format over here yeah this is fine now i guess i'm saving it just a small change instead of using print just change it to format because we are using here percentage d and we are like trying to print it in the time format so have format over there so let me now just compile it yeah i'm not getting any error so this is now working perfectly fine i guess and next let me just view the output so it's going to be java your class name so enter the seconds i will go with 3000 670 so i think that is one hour one minute and 10 seconds so here you can see i've got one hour one minute and 10 seconds so this code is basically working perfectly fine so the reason why i told you to add this particular line is that if i just now comment this line all right i'm commenting it and saving it and if i just now compile it and again run it yeah if i give the exactly same input i will go with 3670 so this time you can see i will be getting 61 minutes which is in the valid minute so in order to keep the minute within the 0 to 60 range we are doing this particular line so that's the main importance of this line so let me just now save it it will work fine as normal so let me go with some other output as well yeah let me go with 3000 let me go with 7270 yeah so it's two hours one minute and 10 seconds so this is now working perfectly fine and i think you can also add another change all right so this code now basically works for small seconds so what if i gave this as an input so i'm giving such a big number means we'll be getting a problem in that so here you can see i've got the 
minutes and seconds perfectly within the 60 range but my hours has gone like beyond the range because we need to have only until 24 hours right it is 277 so i need to change that so for changing that you can add this particular line so it is going to be our second which is yes and you need to put modulus and within bracket 24 asterisk 3600 so this line of code basically solves this issue it basically keeps uh, keeps the hover value within the 24 hour limit so 24 hours asterisk 3600 which is the number of seconds for each hour it's the same thing that i told you earlier 24 corresponds to 24 hours so if i'm now saving it so i'm now compiling it it's java c yeah and java so i'm going with like a big input again and this time you can see i'm getting within the 24 hour range and that's the reason because of this code so this is it basically these are some of the like i think it's four lines yeah just four lines it's really simple only thing the minutes and hours will be like kind of confusing this is like optional if you have very large input other than that it's like just a piece of cake and i hope you would have found this video useful i've also done many other tutorials in java c c plus plus node js react js mongodb so do check other videos of my channel subscribe me Thanks for watching.